Building on dependency theory, Emmanuel Wallerstein developed the World System Analysis, or World System Theory, which provided a framework for understanding global economic inequalities. Unlike dependency theory, which focuses on country exploitation, world system analysis was focused on the system capital accumulation and production processes. The main thesis is that the system prioritizes the endless accumulation of capital regardless of nation states. For Wallerstein, today's globalization is a byproduct of the spread and development of capitalism over the past 500 years. Wallerstein introduced a three-tier system with core, semi-periphery, and periphery countries. Core countries dominate through monopolized production processes, while peripheral countries engage in competitive, less profitable production. Semi-peripheral countries have a mix of both and strive to advance to core status while avoiding slipping into the periphery. Think of China, India, and Brazil. The semi-periphery are moderately developed nations that act as a stabilizing factor in the system, trading raw materials from the periphery and selling intermediate goods to the core. Wallerstein argued that development and progress do occur, but only for a small number of semi-peripheral states and not for those peripheral states that remain providers of natural resources and raw materials to the developed industrial core. As you probably noticed, technology is a key factor that determines the country's status and its strength. The difference in country's strength is crucial to maintaining the system as a whole, with strong states extracting the surplus to the core zone in what Wallerstein called unequal exchange.